Hey YouTube, welcome to video number two in my series of fixing up my side yard. Now my house is um, raised construction, so as you can see, there, I have this big concrete wall all around it. So on the side of my yard, I had that as well, and I really wanted to spruce it up a bit, so I added this trellis that I installed, and the idea was to have some climbing plants on it that flower as well. So this is how it came out. I'm gonna go into how I built it and some of the things I learned along the way. All right, let's get into it. My basic plan was to just frame out the wall with two by fours and then screw the lattice to the frame. The wall itself is about 10 feet high and 24 feet long. So I bought six pieces of lattice to align vertically along the wall, leaving about a foot above and below the lattice. Because a two by four is actually one and a half inches thick, I figured that should give plenty of room for the vine to grow and navigate behind and in front too. I wanted the two by fours to match the white color of the lattice, so I used some exterior white paint to put on two coats. All right, so I got these all nicely painted. These are gonna be the dividers, so they're gonna go vertically. And then these are gonna be the horizontal pieces at the top. And I'm not gonna do the bottom because I think that's fine if I have a, you know three sides um, screwed in. I had to do a little cutting so they're the right length because those two by fours were a little bit long. So here's my wall. Um, what I did was I used a chalk line to measure um, or get a straight line all the way across. So I measured a foot down right there and then a foot down right there from that like white piece so then i used the chalk line you can see that there go all the way across so i have a i stay you know i have a reference point now so i'll probably put the the white wood pieces like right here and then just go all the way across make sure that it's nice and level after i was done with my chalk line i was ready to attach my first piece of two by four to the wall in order to make the drilling easier for me, I pre-drilled holes into the 2x4 with a wood drill bit. For the first hole, I measured the same distance on the wood and measured the same distance on the wall so I knew where to drill the hole. When drilling into the concrete, I made sure the drill was perpendicular to the wall and also to start out slow so the bit doesn't jump around. When I went to go put up the first piece, I quickly realized I didn't have three hands. In order to hold the 2x4 in place, I had to be creative and stack the sifter on top of a ladder, which worked out great. By balancing one end on top of the sifter, I was able to hold the other end and drill and screw the piece into the wall, making sure the wood was level with the chalk line. After I had the two ends secured, I then drilled and screwed every foot and a half or so. I continued until I was finished with the horizontal pieces, and then I started with the vertical ones in a similar fashion, measuring, drilling, and then screwing them in with the white concrete screws. All right, so I'm all done framing it out, pretty much. Um, made sure that these were four feet separated. And I'm probably gonna put another piece there. Um, but I'm going to have to cut it. And I think I'm, I'm going to wait until um, I put all of these up first to do that. Uh, just because I want to see how it looks and make sure everything is fitting properly. And then I'll, I'll probably add another piece because it'll take away from you know, the, that ugliness of those boxes. Alright, so I got these one inch white screws from Amazon couldn't find them in like Lowe's and this is what I'm using to secure it so I'm using the clamp to just hold it in place by drill the pilot holes and then screw it in and I'm just gonna go like this I put four in the top and I'm gonna probably put I don't know four on the side four on each side as well that should keep it in place and just keep going down the line Thank you. 
right, so it's all done, looking good. I had to use this tool right here to cut the fence a little bit um, so that it would fit into here. So I just did some measuring and um, did the cutting. Then yeah, I just I cut the uh, wood and drilled that on. All right, so after two months, it's looking great. I planted these as just seeds April 28th and today's June 28th and they're growing like weeds. Um, some of them are growing a little bit slower than others but to, ha to help them get started underneath here you can see these that I just added so you can climb up there. Didn't, I don't know if I really needed them but it kind of helped a little bit and yeah they've already reached the top and are growing sideways now. Um, I got a bunch of different types of morning glories some of them already have some flowers on there. It's looking nice. And then over here, I have a couple of clematis. They already flowered. They were really nice. Um, and this one looks like it's dying for some reason. I have no idea why. I've been watering these pretty much every day. Just a little bit with a hose. And yeah, looking forward to seeing them flower a little bit more towards the fall, I guess. I guess some of them flower at different rates, different times of the year, but these are looking really nice. But overall, I'm happy, really happy how it's coming out. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like if you learned something to support the channel and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. In my next video, I'm going to be doing my installation of my artificial grass. So stay tuned on the channel if you want to see that.